doing? I feel like your pregnancy has been going by so quickly. Everything going okay today? Awesome, awesome. I absolutely love to hear it. You look absolutely fantastic. What are we, like, 36 weeks today? I cannot believe it either, seriously. Let me just grab my checklist here and I'll just ask you the same general questions and then we'll move on to your vital signs. Awesome, okay. All right, so feeling good today overall. All right, good. So no concerns, nothing really out of the ordinary since I saw you a couple weeks ago. How has baby movement been? Baby's been doing good. Good. So no significant decrease in fetal movement at all. You've been doing your kick counting. Awesome. Feel like you've been getting more Braxton Hicks. How often would you say? Gotcha. like you're up to date on your Tdap vaccine, you got the flu, and you got your COVID. Awesome. Did I give you your breast pump form last visit? Already got that. Fantastic. Alright, and then today we are going to be doing your vital signs. Um, it looks like you are due for some blood work, just repeat infection screening and a CBC. Is that okay with you? Yes, of course, I'll do it for you at the very end. So we're going to get those orders in. And I know we briefly talked last visit, but the reason you're undressed is we are going to be doing that GBS swab that we were talking about. You're good with that? Yes, exactly. The one that stands for group beta strep. Um, group beta strep is a really common bacteria found in the GI system and around the vaginal area. And so some people have it in detectable amounts, some people do not. So we just want to see what your GBS status is so that if you do have detected GBS down there, we uh, give you antibiotics through your IV when you're in labor so that baby is never exposed to it. Exactly. It can definitely protect them from sepsis, pneumonia, so we definitely don't want baby um, to get GBS. Yep. Alright, and sorry, no loss of fluid or vaginal bleeding. Good. Awesome. Love to hear it. Well, labs are up to date. Of course, you passed your one hour way back when. Awesome, so let's do your vital signs real quick. So we're going to start with blood pressure. Do you have a preference in what arm I use? Yours fine, okay. Absolutely no elevation in your blood pressure here. I see you left in your urine sample. Perfect. I'm going to test your urine, make sure we don't see any protein or glucose or anything like that. Oh yeah, I'm doing it all today. Lee, the medical assistant, took a little bit of a break. Is that another one? Oh my goodness. Oh, what a 
this out. Hi, Dave. All right. I am just going to test your urine. Looks like that strip is good, completely clean, awesome. Not having any urinary symptoms today. Good, good, good. All right, let me write down blood pressure is 125 over 84. Urinalysis was negative for protein, negative for glucose. Of course, you're not having any severe headaches, blurry vision, abnormal swelling, nothing outside of the normal for you. Okay, good. All right, so we are going to start just by getting some heart tones first. I'm going to measure you and then we will do the GBS swab, okay? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, let me find my user control. This should be warmed up for you, so it should not be too cold. Baby seems very comfortable today. Heart tones are within the normal range, looking like averaging in the upper 130s. Yep, yep, baby's definitely cozy. <laughs> your fundal height where I kind of press at the top and measure you. Awesome. Alrighty. Just going to take this right here. Just going to press on you a little bit. Measuring perfectly, just gonna go for it one more time. Alright, very good. Measuring spot on. You just want me to take a look at your belly. Probably some itching because it's dry, but just want me to take a look. No problem. Let me grab a light here just so I can see the skin better. One second. It's always good to let 
would be safe and sorry. Um, do you feel any itchiness or rashes on the hands and feet? Do you find that it's during a certain time? No. I will absolutely just check. Don't worry about it. All right. All right. I'm just going to lift this here a little bit. Yep. Yeah. seeing any rash your skin does look a little bit drier but you know the weather change right now winter is coming <laughs> mm -hmm. but i'm very glad that you brought it up just for us to be sure all right Skin overall looks very good, very healthy. Oh no, my pleasure, seriously. All right. So, the next part is that GVS swirl we were talking about. Now, this is what the GVS swab looks like. Really tiny Q-tip here. Some people do it themselves. Um, I'm more than happy to let you do it yourself if you really want to. But I find that it's just easier for people if I just do it for you. You want me to just do it? I got you. I got you. So you're going to feel the swab about 10 seconds in the vaginal area. Then you're going to feel it a little bit between the skin and the rectum. And then around the rectal area. And then you're all done. So the whole thing takes me. 12, 15 seconds. Absolutely my pleasure, yep. All right, so I'm gonna lift this a little bit here. If you could do like a butterfly stretch for me. Awesome, very good. You are gonna feel my hands down here. Yep, all right. Doing okay? All right, we're gonna get started on that swab. You're gonna feel it getting surly here. Doing all right? Good, about 10 seconds. You are doing awesome. Okay, now I'm gonna pull it out of the vaginal opening. You're gonna feel it a little bit around that perineum. Mm -hmm. So you'll feel that there. Doing okay? Good. And a little bit around the rectal area. Might feel a little funny. Okay. And then you're done. Not so bad, right? Let me cover it up here. For sure, for sure. Let me just put this sample here. What was that? You want me to do a cervical check? Yeah, that's seriously no problem. All right, well, I'll keep you in this position then, okay? I totally get it. A lot of moms want to know if they've had any, like, progress. Um, even though it's not necessarily the best indicator as far as when you're going to go into labor, some moms just really want that, and that's totally okay. For sure, for sure. All right. All right. You are going to feel my hands down here. Going to feel them get inserted, a little bit of pressure. Doing okay? I know these are never comfortable, I'm really sorry. Cervix is still close and high, not no dilation yet. Seriously, my pleasure. I am more than happy to check that for you. Okay, so the final thing I just have to do today for you is your blood work, okay? No problem. I'm just doing everything. Yeah. Let me just put this on here. I'm gonna get a change of gloves. Alrighty. Do you need any refills on your prenatals by chance? Doing okay?
should I do the same arm that we got the blood pressure? Okay, all right. By the way, do you need me to use any paper towels down? Yeah, just to help you clean up a little bit, for sure. I am so sorry, totally forgot. Okay. I'm gonna feel some paper towel down there, okay? Feel a little better? Okay, cool. Thank you so much for reminding me. Okay. So, let me just gonna wrap your arm here. This little band is gonna be kind of tight. Okay. I'm gonna kind of leave it for a little bit. This is going to be a quick poke, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. Three, two, one. Just kind of drag it up. You are doing awesome. Okay, I'm going to apply some pressure. You are doing great. Awesome. Just going to put this band-aid on for you here. Too. We did absolutely amazing today given how much we had to do for a prenatal this week. Seriously, literally my pleasure. Okay, so to conclude, blood pressure and urine were perfect for this visit. Heart tones for baby were spot on. The bundle height is appropriate. We collected your GBS swab today as well as did doing your first cervical check in that one. Um, there was no dilation yet, and that's totally okay. We did blood work for your CBC and some repeat infection screening. The GBS swab may take a little bit to come back, probably like a couple days. Of course, I'll call you um, to let you know your status whenever I do get that result. Yes, either which way, not a big deal. Mm-hmm. How is all going? We are all good on prenatals. The plan is now that you are 36 weeks, we are now going to be seeing you every week up until your due date. Yeah, so I only have one week. Routine OB. Follow up in clinic. But of course, you call me if you notice any other concerns or any symptoms that you're just unsure about. Yes, or any decrease in fetal movement. Does everything make sense? Good. I am so, so glad. Of course, it was absolutely my pleasure to see you. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. You call me if there's an emergency, but of course, if you're noticing labor contractions every five minutes for more than a few hours, you go straight to labor and delivery. And if you have any loss of fluid of any kind and you're just not sure, please call me and we'll come in and evaluate you. 
absolutely my pleasure. You have a good one.